Good morning, everybody. Got an excellent night's sleep last night. It did not rain during the night, so pretty excited about that. But I wanted to go ahead and get a video done uh, before it did start raining because chances are it's going to rain today pretty hard. So it might be a pretty rough day. But I got 20 planned. I'm going to, I think it's called Kid Gore Shelter. So, woke up early, got all my business taken care of, ate, filled up with water, and on the trail by 6.30. So, that's a good start for me. And I'm going to just plug along the miles today, and we'll see what we have in store. And that's what I'm doing, and happy to be here as I'm clipping away the miles as soon as I can get done with this uh, hundred that I'm working on then I'll be down to the 500 to go and that's like a huge accomplishment and a huge eye-opening experience for me to know that I've only got 500 to go so looking forward to that that won't be for several days but that's my next uh, short range goal. All right, PT out for now. Hopefully the rain will hold off, but we'll see. All right, here was my little snack spot in the morning. Got a nice uh, river and footbridge here going over. Just past uh, Vermont Loop 9. And that's where I'm headed and it's gonna go straight up. So. This is the other side. Nice view. And I am just trucking along, doing miles. So, we'll see if we can get a little more when we get to the top of this mountain. It's probably that mountain I'm going to. Who knows? All right, everybody, after a long climb, which is still going on, <clears throat> I come up where on, uh, they call this split rock. Probably because it's split. Looks like it's a natural formation, maybe. Hard to say. But, easy way through. Not like the lemon squeezer. Should be no problem. This is a nice, breezy, windy view. Chilly up here, so I got my jacket on. Trying to keep myself warm. And uh, those of those over on that mountain, there's a big windmills going. I don't know if you can see them in this shot. All right, just trying to beat the rain today. All right, <clears throat> here at the fire tower. A little bit rainy and foggy and windy, but uh, should I or should I not? What the heck? Hit it up. All right, it's cold. It's raining. There are no windows left in this fire tower, so. And no views. So I am headed back down. Although I guess that's a view. Alright, PT out for now. Alright, everybody. I am not getting much video today. Today is just uh one of those survival days just get miles it's uh raining off and on all day and it is freaking cold i can't believe it's the middle of june and uh it can be this cold somewhere in the united states but uh wind is blowing i'm guessing the air temp is probably in the low 50s and uh of course raining so I am still gonna get my 20 miles in today it looks like uh, but I have just been head down making sure I don't slip on the roots and the rocks and uh, just making it through just making miles today uh, not much to see as you could see by that last tower video 
and uh, that's what I'm dealing with. Tomorrow is supposed to be worse than today, but we'll see how that ends up tomorrow. You never know. And then the next day is supposed to be nice, but uh, these are the days you just got to plug through the miles and get to your shelter or your tent and uh, get your duties done, wake up tomorrow morning, do it again. And I think I'm probably going to stay in the shelter tonight so I don't have to pack a sopping wet tent tomorrow. If there's space in the shelter, I'll probably do that. Uh, if not, I'll go and throw my tent. So that's what I'm doing. And still better than being at work. All right, PT out. Well, good morning, everybody. So this is my view. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it's going to change today. But uh, once again, just doing miles. So there was a, uh, a young lady at the shelter last night, uh, French Canadian. And she uh, said something this morning which rings true because everybody was just dreading the day as, you know, it's foggy. Everybody's soaking wet. <clears throat> Everybody's shoes and feet are, you know, soaking wet. The rocks are wet. The roots are wet. Everything's slippery. And she just said, well, she said, if it's raining uh, or if it's sunny out, I'm going to hike today. She says, if it's raining, I'm going to hike today. <laughs> yeah. No more simple words or simple words were spoken that were pretty true. And we all just kind of like, you know, she's right. We got two choices. Either we hike today or we sit in this shelter all day. So <clears throat> we're all packing up and hiking. And uh, that's what we're hikers choose, I guess. No need to uh, worry or be concerned or uh, belly ache or whatever because it is what the trail has given us. So two days of rain and thunderstorms have made the trail pretty squishy and muddy in sections. And if it keeps up today, it'll make it even worse. But I'm doing at least 15 today into Stratton Pond Shelter maybe 20 there's another shelter about four miles beyond that and then the following day if i do 15 gives me a 10 mile into green mountain house hostel for a resupply laundry and overnight stay and if i do 20 it gives me a five mile into there so we'll see how what the day holds and as of right now body's still feeling good and Gonna have to put this phone up because rain's starting to drop. So, all right, PT out for now. Well, this is an interesting tree. Not too sure if that's man made. I don't think so. Either a woodpecker or something got crazy in there. But I don't think that tree has much life left. Or the life is already gone. But, interesting. All right, so. This is one of my big pond views. As you can see, there's a big beaver pile out there in the middle of it. But uh, I'm sure this would be gorgeous on a better day. But it's still pretty cool. I think I can see a little bit better than the camera can, but uh, that's just the way it is today. All right, everybody. Just. Uh, Walking away here in Vermont, it has stopped raining for the moment. So, uh, let you know that my night last night I spent <clears throat> in a shelter. First night I've spent in a shelter since, uh, geez, since in Cowell back. I think that might be in Pennsylvania or even Virginia. In Pennsylvania. Uh, but that was a long time ago. And it was just kind of a. Uh, I was one of the first ones there. The shelter wasn't that bad. It was old, but, uh, you know, it was raining. 
and last thing I wanted to do was set up a wet tent, pack up a wet tent, knowing that I still got another night uh, before I uh, end up in a town. Little, oh, sheesh, these are slippery. Little brook there behind me. Can't sit for too long because the mosquitoes will jump on you. But uh, I uh, got a good night's sleep. Surprised. They, all the people in the shelter were uh, very cordial and nice. No snores. Uh, there's some kind of pad out there that somebody that people have. I'm not sure which one it is, but man, it is so loud when you move on it. And uh, I've gotten to the point now, if I'm tired, I can just block that out, no problem. So, not a big deal. <clears throat> but uh, everybody got up around the same time, uh, packed up, and it was a very good night. So, I uh, possibly will stay in the shelter tonight. Since the sun has come out, well, I don't know about the sun, but since it's not raining, I might reevaluate because I was planning on staying at uh, Stratton Pond Shelter, which is a, apparently a big shelter with a caretaker. Got 16, uh, it'll fit 16. And there's a tenting area, so I don't know. We'll see. Probably the shelter because it's still supposed to, uh, to rain. But I'm going to flip this around and show you what i got to walk through now. Yeah, that's what they call, that's why they call it Vermud. Alright, got to get through it. PT out. Alright, Stratton Mountain. That was a pretty long, tough climb. But the good part about it is I don't have to do it again. Alright, up the tower we go. See if we got any views. All right, the view from Stratton Mountain Overlook. As you can see, I'm not getting much. At least the windows are intact here, so the wind is not whipping around too bad. But as soon as I go down that hole. Oh yeah, burr. So that's the way down. All right, headed down.